Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. I am excited. We have the new 2024 Tacoma details and specs and pictures and questions and all kinds of stuff now. So I've been thinking about it myself a little bit. You know, I'm going to be getting one. Uh, not only for the channel, if I'm being honest, uh, I like them and I like new vehicles. So yeah, I'm going to have one. Question becomes, which one? You know, we have eight different trim levels. We've got the TRD Pro, we have the Trail Hunter, of course, the TRD Sport Off-Road Limited, SR, SR5. Hopefully I didn't forget any. We've got a myriad of Toyota Tacomas to choose from now, all new. The only constant, I guess, is that we have the four-cylinder turbo. Now, in the TRD Pro and some of the other trim levels, of course, we have the iForce Max. I have to have that with its higher horsepower and what seems to be awesome torque rating. Love that and it's low end, 1700 RPMs, you hit the gas and you're gonna have that torque. The power band is gonna be there. A question I have is how long is it gonna last? You know, I've had turbos before where you get a little bit and then they spool out and they're done. I hope the Tacoma's not like that and I know it's not a race car, but I like to have fun when I'm driving, regardless of what I'm driving. Truck, car, exotic, whatever it is. So, got to have the iForce Max. That's going to limit my choices a little bit, because at the lower end, you just have the regular four-cylinder turbo. Now, I find it interesting, in the SR, they've dumbed that one down. It's the same engine, and this is purely a marketing tool or ploy, right? It's the same engine, they just have it tuned down so that it's weaker, let's be honest, it's weaker. It's got less horsepower, it's got less torque. I mean, come on, man, it's the same engine. But anyway, that would throw the SR out for me right away. The trim levels that I'm considering, I really do like the TRD Pro. I love it in the white that they've shown. Honestly, I've loved that truck ever since I saw the uh, spy shots or the interpretations, the guesses as to what we were going to have, albeit it was an electric version that they showed, but I figured the truck would look something like that anyway, and it does. The problem I have with the TRD Pro, there's a couple of them for me. One, it really is a finished truck. I mean, I'm a YouTuber, I do mods and things, I wouldn't have anything to do. I mean, except sit and look at it and drive it around, and that's about it. So that kind of cuts out the TRD Pro for me. Uh, not to mention it has that piano finished fender flare treatment. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know why they've done that. They could have maybe made it shiny some other way and who knows, maybe it'll be more durable than some of the piano finishes that you've seen in other vehicles in the past. But let's be honest, they scratch easily, they get those little micro, micro scratches and stuff in them, and in bright light, they really don't look very good. I gotta say though, I, don't, I do love the look of the TRD Pro, but I think that one's already out for me. The Trail Hunter, the new trim for Toyota in the Tacoma. Uh, I really dig that too, you know, it's got a lot of the stuff that I want. It's got the sport bar on the back, it looks good. I mean, it's an awesome truck. It seems to be an awesome truck. Again, we go back to, well, it's pretty much a finished truck. I mean, I'm thinking that at least down the road, I could buy that sport bar. It is a, a Toyota part, right? I could buy that down the road. I don't know how long that's gonna be, and then put it on a different trim level. I mean, all the beds and things, whether they're six foot or five foot or whatever, whatever it is, are gonna be the same anyway. So it would fit any trim level. As much as I like that one, I think it's probably out for me as well for what I do. You know, if I was just a, a guy buying a truck, yeah, that probably would be the trim level I'd be looking for, but mm, not in this case, I don't think. So it brings us down to the next, I guess, the Limited. The Limited's out. Chrome, lots and lots of chrome. And it's funny, when Toyota advertises the truck or has advertised it so far, they talk about it like it's a good thing. Now, I guess it would be if you're into Chrome, but I don't know, is there that big of a Chrome uh, following out there? Maybe maybe there is, maybe it's just me. 
but I wouldn't buy it because of that. Too much chrome, and strangely, just the name of it alone, Limited. I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't create any excitement for me. So, now we're down to the true two trim levels, uh, I guess that I would be into. Either the TRD Sport or the TRD Off-Road. I like the Sport. You know, I've always been a fan, even though it's not functional, and I don't recall if it's functional or not in the 2024 Tacoma, but I've always been a fan of the uh, hood scoop. I like it. I think it looks neat, and I think it looks good on the new one as well. It's integrated even more with that kind of sunken center hood that they have, and then that hood scoop in the center. I think it looks tough. I like it. But the issue, I have a TRD off-road right now. That's what we're riding in. It's the electric line. And I've always thought it would be good to keep this one for a while, or maybe I'll keep this one indefinitely, I don't know, but keep this one for a while to do comparisons between it and uh, the new redesigned Tacoma, to see what things they've changed, to see, what, to see what's still the same. Uh, I'm thinking there's not gonna be a lot the same, but then again, I don't think they've reinvented the wheel. They've changed the looks of it. They've added some other things. Of course, the engine is completely different and the transmission. That's another thing I want to mention while I'm thinking about it. The eight-speed transmission. Going to be very interesting to see how well that works paired with the new four-cylinder turbo and this gear hunting problem that a lot of people seem to have. You know, I don't really experience it, but I live in an area that's pretty much flat. I'm not going up and down hills, inclines and things where the truck should be downshifting and upshifting and all that stuff. I'm just driving on a relatively flat terrain here in deep south Texas. So I'll be interested to see what those who do drive in those conditions think of the new transmission. Is it going to solve that problem? Is it going to mate well with the new engine? That's the biggest thing. You know, sometimes they throw these transmissions in and they really don't do well with the vehicle that they've put them in. So I can't wait to see that. Lastly, the four cylinder, the four cylinder turbo. I'm seeing a lot of hate for that. I was seeing that before they ever announced the truck. I don't know, it, to me, it's about experience. You know, just because somebody says, well, the four cylinders don't last as long, you're gonna be putting a new engine who keeps them that long anyway? I know some people do, but I don't. I mean, I'll have the truck probably tops maybe two years less, honestly, if I don't like it, because I still have will have this one. And that's uh, another thing real quick. Do I keep this one if I don't like the new one? Do I stay with the new one just to be up to date on the channel? You see, that's kind of a conundrum for me. I'm a Tacoma YouTuber. You gotta have the latest and greatest or do you? I don't know. Anyway, it's going to be most likely the TRD off-road. There is a possibility of the TRD Sport just because I really like the looks of that truck. We shall see. Who knows? Anyway, leave a comment. I'd be curious. And this is for those that are going to get the new truck. Not the haters, not the ones that don't want it. Which trim level are you going to get? Leave a comment. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. Bye.